So if you're like me and you have a Dodge Ram 2003 era-ish with a 3.7 liter V6 that you find in the same style Jeep Liberties and the Dakotas, I know it says Magnum V8. I think the previous owner just added that because this is most definitely a 3 liter V6. But the quick and easy solution to finding the crankshaft resistance sensor is to go down here and look up underneath the passenger wheel. And you'll see it located right up next to the oil pan. And I'll try to show you it from the front right now. So this is the front, right? And that's the steering rack. If you look right past that, right up there, you'll see the crankshaft position sensor. I know it's super hard to see. Way back there. See that thing way back there? That's the crankshaft position sensor. So here we are now underneath the truck, a little bit of cramped quarters. But here is the catalytic converter. This is the transmission oil pan. And if you go a little bit further forward, this is your engine oil pan, right? So right on the passenger side of the engine oil pan, right behind this brace, right there is your crankshaft position sensor. See that? That's it. Figured since I'm already down here, I might as well show you how to change it. Basically all you do is you reach up, right and you pull the sides of these clips push it in like that you can hear the little connector popping off <laughs> then you get a bunch of dirt in your mouth just like that and there's the sensor so we obviously got to take a 13 millimeter bolt and unbolt this and this should just wiggle free don't just try to pull it wiggle it side to side gently and then pull it we got that bolt all unbolted like that now, this is the crankshaft position sensor itself. You just grab it. Ready? You want to grab it. And you twist it back and forth. And just like that, it comes out pretty easy. This one looks like a... Kind of like a crappy Chinese one. Not surprising, to be honest, but... The one I have the replacement for is no better. So it'll match. There you go. Standard Motor Products by O'Reilly's We. You can guarantee that it has a lifetime warranty though, so I gotta give them that. That's the part number for a 3.7 liter crankshaft position sensor. So there we go, I plugged it in. New sensor's all up in there. Took probably two minutes. Added length five minutes because of filming. And that's it. Now all you gotta do is take one of those little uh, OBD2 readers that I have over there. And you gotta clear the check engine light. Now, yeah, if you don't have that, you could just disconnect the battery for five minutes. But I have the tool, so I'm going to go use that. See if that light comes back on. It shouldn't. Before, it would barely start. It would uh, stress starting, and it would sort of stumble and sputter. Yeah, now it runs fine. Cool. And that just shows you. That's all it really takes. So thanks for watching.